All right, welcome back, everyone. This is Marie with Your New School. Today's focus is going to be on Aloxy Chroma, which is the permanent hair color in the Aloxy um, company or Aloxy line. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is exactly what is Chroma. So Chroma is a permanent hair color, and it has a CDP complex. So with what that stands for is conditions, deposits, and protects. So how it works, the conditioners or the emol uh, emollients that are derived from the coconut oil combine with highly charged copolymers, including P22, create a cocooning of conditioners, which encapsulate the color pigment. So they're, it's actually depositing conditioning agents into the cortex of the hair. So for those of you who are not cosmetology students, um, your hair is made up of three layers, a cuticle, a cortex, and a medulla. The cuticle is the outermost layer of your hair, and that's kind of like shingles on a roof is kind of how what they look like. The cortex is the second layer, and that's where melanin is found. That's what gives you your hair color. And then the medulla is the most inner core of the hair strand. Um, there's really no purpose for it and not everybody has one. So it really doesn't pertain to us when it comes to hair color, but the cuticle and the cortex do. So the D for deposit, this has um, high definition crystalline micropigments to ensure 100% color saturation. These crystallized micropigments easily penetrate inside the cortex. Once inside the cortex, these micropigments begin to irrigate and form, get larger and more concentrated molecules. So they kind of like, once they're in there, they expand and they start holding hands and they're trapped inside the cortex. And then the protect, so plant-based protectants combined with a low ammonia formula protects the hair and scalp during the color process. So while your hair is being colored with chroma, it's really conditioning the hair so that It's rinsed out, your hair is softened. You're not going to get any of that drying or frizzy feeling that you would get with a typical over the counter type of hair color. So, here's the complete tonal series for the Chroma permanent hair color line. So, a tonal series is the colors that are available from light to dark in the entire color line. So, for hair color, we go by levels, and if you look to the far left of your screen, you'll see where it says levels in black and white, and it's from one to 10. Well, one means it's the darkest level of hair color, which would be black, and 10 is the lightest, which is your ultralight blondes, and then everything in between. So the higher the number, the lighter the color. The lower the number, the darker the color. The lower the number, the more color molecules are in that tube of color. Whereas as you go up on the scale, the lighter, the larger number means lighter, which is less pigment. Now, permanent hair color does contain ammonia. So the level of ammonia varies based on the level. So the darker the color, the less ammonia. The lighter the color, the more ammonia, which is going to give you that lift so that you can create those nice blondes. And then we also have gems, which are at the bottom. Those are um, concentrated pigments so that you can intensify any of the shades above. So let's say you had, you know, coloring somebody's hair red, but they want it to be a little more intense for red. You can add red gems to really give the red hair color a pop. So here is the tonal series, um, pretty much broken down. So N stands for natural. In the chroma or the tones series, and tones are our semi permanent hair color, which is ammonia free. Neutral, which is also represented by the letter N, that is for our Andiamo hair color, which is the express 15 minute permanent hair color line. But the N means the same thing, they're either natural or neutral. Some students will see a double N, and this is an intense neutral. These are designed for, um, they're recommended to cover 50% or more gray resistant hair. If somebody doesn't have um, a lot of gray or they're less than 50%, you would want to formulate your formula using just the regular N series. If they have 50% or more, 
or they have resistant gray, then you would use the double N series because it just has a little more pigment. NT stands for natural pan. This is a natural gold base. Um, if you're creating these natural looking warm tones, you can also use that for gray coverage. Natural ash is a natural with a blue violet base. So this is going to produce a neutral cool tone. And it's also going to help to control unwanted oranges and yellows. And this will also be used to cover gray hair as well. So we're going to jump a screen in a couple minutes and I'll explain undertones for those of you who don't know what undertone is. And then there's the B is for beige, GB is for gold violet, ash <clears throat> is represented with the letter A and that's actually a blue based color. Some color lines their ash is green based but ours is blue based. Pearl is a violet blue base, violet is a blue red base, red gold is again red gold, mahogany or red mahogany, the RM series, that is a red, red brown. The reds are formulated with a true red base to ensure rich, vibrant red tones. The extra red um, has just a little extra more red pigment in there to give it a little more intensity. Red copper is a red orange base, copper is an orange base. The GR series, which is gold and red, is a gold red base, which is going to add warmth, um, especially in those mahogany tones. Gold is a gold base, and then intense gold is just double the pigment of that gold. And then we, our newest series is the brown gold, and that is a BRG. This is a brown with a gold mixed in to create warm brown um, golden tones. And if you go onto the Aloxy website, you'll get a good idea of what those tones look but like. They are brand new. I haven't even seen them yet, and I can't wait to order them um, so I can be using those. So next on to the color wheel. If you don't understand color theory, this is a must. You have to memorize your color wheel. Um, blue, so red, yellow, and blue are your primary colors, and they create all other colors. Tertiary color, or I'm sorry, secondary colors is mixing two primaries, tertiary mixing a primary and a secondary. Colors that are found opposite each other on the color wheel are going to neutralize one another. And that is so important when you are formulating or doing color correction. So if you are formulating, let's see, did I it in? I didn't put it in the slides. Oh, I wish I did. All right, I'm gonna have to go back and change my slides. Okay, so when you're formulating virgin hair color, um, virgin hair, you can use permanent hair color and it will lift the natural melanin out of the hair and deposit artificial melanin, which is the color molecules. That's only done on virgin hair. When you're doing that and you're lifting the natural melanin out of the hair, you're exposing your client's undertone or the color that's underneath their natural hair color. People with dark hair have melanin and redheads have phao melanin and blondes, natural blondes, they have a mixture of both eumelanin and phao melanin, but they have very little of it, which is why their hair is blonde. So people with eumelanin, that pigment is red or um, brown. So when you're putting bleach or lightening virgin hair, it exposes all of that red orange undertone. So you need to understand the color wheel so that if you just throw a neutral over somebody's hair, thinking that when you wash it out, it's going to be neutral, it's not. So if somebody has a level four, which is medium brown hair, you throw a level four neutral with 20 volume over that. When it starts to process, it's going to lift and deposit, but you're going to expose some of that undertone. So that brown is going to be a really warm brown. And if they don't want warm brown, you need to adjust your formula. So you may have to add a color that has a little bit of green or blue in it to neutralize that red or red orange undertone. I hope that makes sense. This is more advanced coloring and color correction, um, but that's the importance of the color wheel is to understand what colors neutralize one another when mixed together. And those are colors that are opposite of the color wheel. This also helps when you are doing color correction and when you are doing fillers. So blue is the darkest and most prominent hair color and it's a cool primary color. It's the first 
colored pigment deposited and it's the first to be lightened from the hair. Red is a medium warm dyna dynamic primary color and it adds, um, when added to a color formula, it's gonna add red richness to it. Yellow is the lightest of the primary colors and it's gonna brighten any hair color if you add yellow or gold to a hair color. On your actual box of Chroma Permanent Hair Color, we have it labeled in both international and American numbering system. So the number refers to the level, which means how light or how dark the color is. The first letter refers to the tonal direction. So the first letter is the primary tone, the second letter is the secondary. So that means there's more, so for this example, 7NT, there's more natural than there is tan in this color or gold. That's the American numbering system. So most American color lines, you're gonna see a number followed by letters. International numbering and leveling system is all numbers. So what they've done is they've taken a number and they've assigned it to a color on the color wheel. So when you have your color, a level seven is your level, so that stays the same, but this first number is your primary tone, and then the second number after the period is your secondary tone. So this would be a 7.03, which is equivalent to a seven natural gold, because three represents gold, Zero represents neutral or natural. So we have it both on the box. So depending on what you're used to reading, it's going to be either international or American numbering system. Platinum series. There is a platinum series. This is your high lift tint. They are, are going to create the ultimate in high lift blondes without creating excessive warmth. So these tones are going to lift and deposit or lift and tone at the same time contains botanicals um, that's gonna protect the hair and add shine. Your mixing ratio, if you are using the Platinum Series is one to two, which means one ounce of color to two ounces of developer or one part color to two parts developer. And then for your application, um, you're gonna have to follow your proper application steps for virgin applications you are gonna apply mid-strand to ends and then you go back and do the base. Um, if you're foiling with this, then you would just weave out and section the hair and foil with it. There's also Boost. Boost can be mixed with any of our chromas and it's gonna give you an additional one level of lift. So that's exactly what it is. It's a booster so that you're getting more lift. You can also use Boost with gray coverage. So if you have somebody that has really resistant gray, you can also use Boost in their formula to help um, deposit the color and get more gray coverage. And then here are the gems. The gems come in cool tones and warm tones. We've got blue and violet are cool tones, and then the warm tones are red, gold, and copper. These can be mixed in with any of your formulas to intensify, but you can also use these to do color correction as well as use them as fillers. So your options, if you are covering gray hair, these are, this is the series that you need to mix in with your formula when you're formulating for gray. So you're either gonna use a neutral, double neutral, neutral tan, neutral ash, or we also have a natural matte. And depending on your percentage of gray is how much of your neutral you will use. So if your client has 75% gray, 75% of your formula needs to be a neutral. The other 25% can be any of the other tone series. So if they wanted like a red brown or a copper, you would do 75, you know, let's see, you would do 0.75 ounces of your neutral to 0.25 ounces of your copper red followed by one and a half ounces of color, you need one and a half ounces of developer. So depending on, okay, I might lose you guys. I'm getting internet connection unstable. So if I lose you, I apologize. 
So depending on how you are covering or what percentage of gray you're covering, up to 50%, again, you want to use 50% of your formula needs to be neutral, and then the other 50% can be your desired total series. Over 50%, again, make sure that your neutral series is that percentage of gray followed by the percentage of tonal series. Now, if you don't want to add a tonal series and you want to do just neutral, you can do that as well. If your client has really resistant gray, you can do a service called pre-pigmentation. And with that, what you would do is you would take your tonal series, let's say you wanted to do a golden color. So you would take your gold with no developer and you mix it with distilled water. So you take your pigment, your color, mix it with distilled water, apply it to the gray area, let it sit for about 20 minutes. I'm sorry, let it sit for about three to five minutes and then you will towel blot it off and then remix your formula and apply it directly over that. So basically you're staining the gray hair with your pigment before you color over it. And that's gonna help with really resistant gray hair. And then again, here is your processing time. So for gray white coverage, if you're doing a tone on tone, you will get gray coverage using 10 volume. Your processing time will be 25 to 35 minutes. The 25 minutes is for clients who have fine hair. So clients with fine hair are more receptive for hair color. It takes a lot quicker. So you need the shorter processing time. But for average to coarse hair, you're in the process for the 30 to 35 minutes. Gray white, wanting one level of lift, you would use 20 volume and process for 30 to 45 minutes. Gray coverage, looking for two levels of lift, you would use 30 volume for 40 to 45 minutes. And the gray-white coverage for up to three levels of lift, meaning going three shades lighter, you're gonna need 40 volume and you'll process for 40 to 50 minutes. So again, levels one through 10, which is the normal level system, your mixing ratio will be one to one and a half. If you are using a high lift color, which is the platinum series, which is 11, level 11, you're gonna mix your product from one to two. So if you did one ounce of color, two ounces of developer. And it's typically you're using 40 volume for that. For refreshing, so if a client comes in, they've received their permanent hair color, they, it's been a month, month and a half, they now need a touch up. You're gonna apply your permanent chroma to the regrowth area, and then you will freshen their ends using tones. So tones is our demi-permanent hair color. It has no ammonia, so it's not gonna lift, it's gonna deposit only. So that will refresh the ends if they need to be refreshed. Not every client needs to be refreshed. I find with the Chroma um, and Andiamo, which is what I use on my hair, I don't ever have to pull through on my ends. The color holds beautifully. I get very little fadage using Chroma or Andiamo. So it holds really well. I don't have to do refreshes. I probably do a refresh on my clients once or twice a year. And that's about it. So it holds really well. Color fillers. It's recommended to fill hair when coloring back more than two levels or if their hair is overly coarse and won't hold color on the mid lengths and ends. Chroma or tones gems can be used to utilize this depending on the physical properties of the hair. So it really depends on how damaged their hair is. So using the color for filler, you're going to mix 60 grams of distilled water with 45 grams of your gems. And those are either copper, red, or gold. You always want to fill with warm tones. You're going to develop for 15 to 25 minutes at room temperature. Don't put them under heat. And then you'll blot off and lightly rinse. Towel dry, get the hair dry, and then apply your color application over that. So if you don't fill the hair, so a filler is done with somebody who is currently blonde or they wanna go two shades darker than what they already are. If you were to just throw a color that's two shades darker over somebody who has blonde hair, then that color washes out, they're gonna look really mucky or muddy because you did not put the contributing pigment back into their hair, which means they're undercoat. Everyone 
an undertone and it's typically a warm hair color. And if when in doubt, just look at the natural level system and look for, for example, a level four, the undertone is red or, uh, red or orange. So if I was to fill my hair platinum, blonde, and I want to go back to being a level four, I need to mix my gems with red and gold, or I could use the copper. It just has to be some sort of red-orange tone. I'm going to color my hair red-orange using the gems. I'm going to towel blot that off and rinse it off, and then I will throw my level four neutral or natural over that orange so that my hair won't look muddy when it washes out. So it's so important to understand that's color correction. Understand your undertones so you know what to fill with. Color removal. To remove unwanted cool tones or color saturations from mid lengths and ends, you're going to want to follow this formulating chart. Um, so you'll do a half to one ounce of your level with lightener and distilled water. These are called shampoo caps. If your level is two to three levels of trying to get it out, then you're going to use 10 volume with some uh, lightener with 10 volume. For three to four levels, you'll use lightener with 20 volume. Four to five levels, lightener with 30 volume. Anything higher, five to six levels that you're trying to remove, you're going to use lightener and 40 volume. And then you're just going to kind of shampoo that into the hair and rinse it out. But you can use developer or distilled water. And then, of course, after you're doing any type of color removal, you want to make sure that you're putting the reparative serum back in so that you can restore that hair so it's not so damaged. The lighteners that we have available, we've got blue, white, ultra, and hands-free. The hands-free lightener is what we use for surface painting and balayage. The other lighteners are used as your on the scalp and or off the scalp lighteners. And you're going to follow your mixing ratio according to what you're applying to. So if you're applying to the scalp, you're going to use 7, 10, or 20 volume. 30 and 40 volume are never applied to the scalp, ever. Um, those are all off the scalp lighteners, which are done with either balayage or foils. So now let's take a look at some of the trends that are currently out on the Aloxy website. So if you go to the Aloxy website, you're going to see a bunch of different trends. These are just three of the trends that are on, that are currently on their website. Um, this first picture, um, the brunette, these are using the new BRG series, which is the new shades that I cannot wait to try out. So this one is called Lava Lights, is the color. The color personality is called Hazelnut Struts. So this model has a natural level five. She's got 0% gray, her texture is average, and she's got normal porosity. And if you're unfamiliar with what the word porosity means, that means it's the hair's ability to absorb moisture. So the more porous the hair means the more damaged. The less porous the hair, that means it's really healthy. So if the hair can really absorb liquid, that means the cuticle layer is blown open and it's really porous and it's going to suck up color. But she's got normal porosity, so she's got good, healthy hair. There's three formulas that were, were used to create this look. Formula A is the new Chroma 6 BRG with 20 volume. Formula B is the 8BRG with 40 volume, and formula C is the 7BRG with 30 volume. The first thing you want to do is prep the hair. So we use Color Prime. Color Prime is a spray. You're gonna spray this on the mid lengths and ends, and you're also gonna spray a little bit onto the scalp and just kind of rub it in. The Color Prime is gonna protect the scalp um, from sensitivity. So some clients who have really sensitive scalp, this is great because it's going to protect your scalp, minimizing some of that itching that is typical with permanent hair color. It's also going to even out the porosity in the hair so that your color takes more evenly. Step two is to take four slices in the front perimeter and then four on each side and you're going to apply formula A at the base fading into formula B throughout the mid-strand and end. So you're going to section your foil, 
at the scalp area, you're going to apply formula A, and then you're going to do a color melt with formula B on the mid strand and ends. So it's going to have a slight ombre effect. And you're going to place that on all of those foils. Next step, you're going to take four slices in the back crest area with formula A at the base fading into formula B. And these diagonal partings are great because it's going to give the illusion that this color was foiled as a full head of foils because as the hair falls naturally, you're going to have highlight. This formula is going to look like it was foiled to the entire back of the head. And then step four, freehand. You're going to take formula C and then you are just going to freehand and do a base to ends application on the remaining hair. So you'll do an all over color on the hair that's remaining. You're going to allow that to develop for about 30 to 35 minutes, again, depending if she had gray, which she didn't. And then once it's done, you're going to just give the hair a quick, you're going to pull the foils out, give the hair a quick rinse. You're going to emulsify that color with some water in the scalp area and around the hairline. That's going to help prevent staining. And then you're going to rinse until the water runs clear. Once it runs clear, you're going to squeeze out the excess water and you're going to shampoo and condition using Color Lock. Color Lock is a post color finisher. It is a cleanser, a conditioner, and it's also going to neutralize any color residue left on the hair. So any chemical residue left on the hair, if you do not do a thorough job of rinsing, it will neutralize that chemical reaction. You're going to let this sit on the hair for two minutes and then rinse thoroughly. And then you're going to apply InstaBoost. So InstaBoost is a new product line that we have, and it is a color conditioner. So we have, it has a ton of different colors to choose from. For this example, you're just using the clear, which is called Gloss Boss. You're going to leave this on for five minutes. This is a conditioner. Other colors that we have are some intense reds. We have chestnut browns, gold. So you're going to deposit color as it conditions. An amazing product and it lasts about say seven to ten washes um, but the clear is just going to provide a really nice high shine seal down that cuticle so that your color lasts a little longer the next model is called flight night and her personality name or color personality is sterling siren so this has four formulas. She is a natural level two. So level two is like darkest brown, almost black. She's got fine textured hair and her porosity is normal. To achieve this look on somebody with a natural level two, which is really dark hair, you need to pre-lighten to a yellow stage. So you do need to bleach out her hair until she gets to like a canary yellow with the ultra light lightener and the blue 20 volume developer. We also have a blue developer, so it's gonna, that's used to control unwanted warmth. So step one is to apply your color prime to the entire head so that we're priming the hair. Your application is gonna be a base to ends application. First, you're going to apply formula A, which is a level six AA, so that's like a double ash with 10 volume. You're then going to feather into formula B, which is a level eight, which is a little lighter than the six, 10 volume developer. Formula C is going a little lighter on that ash. Now we're using a level nine with 10 volume. And then your mid, mid lengths and ends will be formula D, which is the lightest of the double ash, which is a level 10 with 10 volumes. So you see that we're using 10 volume for all of this. And that is because we pre-lightened her to a bright yellow. We're trying to cancel out all that yellow by using the double ash so that she's like that real cool silvery color because our ash again is a blue based color. You're gonna let that process. And once the processing is done, you're going to bring her to the shampoo basin, give it a little light rinse, emulsify that color to get it off the scalp. And then you will do a thorough rinse until the water runs clear, apply your color lock, let that sit for two minutes, and then rinse that out. 
And now to intensify that silver look, you're going to apply the InstaBoost Conditioning Color Mask in the color called Silver Fox. You'll leave that on for five minutes and then rinse that thoroughly. And that's what's gonna achieve that blue-gray or that silver tone to pre-lightened hair. So it's gonna be an ombre from a dark ash to a very light pale ash. And then the InstaBoost, she can apply this every, like she can do this once a week to refresh that silver look because we all know hair that's been previously bleached out is really porous and it's gonna fade. Every, all blondes fade when it's artificial. So to keep that color refreshed, she can use the InstaBoost in between her color appointments to refresh in that silver. And the last look is the Stellar Starburst. This is called A Touch of Tuscany. So this also has four formulas. This model, her natural level is a level five, which is a medium to light brown or dark blonde. Her texture is fine and she's got normal to porous ends. So that means her ends are pretty porous they're dried out, the cuticle is raised, so it's going to absorb color very easily. So formula A is using lightener with 20 volume. Formula B is using chroma 7NT with 20 volume. Formula C is chroma 8NT, which is slightly lighter, with 30 volume. And formula D is using tones 9NT with 7 volume. Tones is the demi-permanent, so that's no ammonia. Chroma, those two are permanent hair color. So again, we always prime the hair with color prime, or, uh, color prime. And then for this model, you're going to create a starburst with eight thin foils on the sides and in the crown. And you're going to do a feathering. So you're going to create your starburst with those eight thin foils on each side and one in the top of the head for three tonal three total starbursts. You're going to feather formula A from the base through the mid lengths and ends. You're going to apply formula B to the base and formula C to the mid length and ends on the remaining hair. You're going to let that process rinse thoroughly and because her hair is porous and pretty damaged, you're going to condition and do a treatment with the R Prescription Express um, reparative treatment. Let that sit. And then you'll tone the hair with formula D, which is your toner. So since her hair is porous and we're putting 20 and 30 volume on there, it's gonna make her hair a little more porous. And so we do need to do a conditioning treatment before you throw formula D, which is the toner, over her entire head. Um, otherwise the toner's not gonna take evenly. And then once you rinse that out, then you will shampoo condition with the color lock that sits on for two minutes and then you rinse it thoroughly. Now you don't have to follow any of these formulas. If you like these color patterns, um, so this is what her highlights will look like with those starbursts in just the front hairline and her sides or this look or even this look. You don't have to follow these exact formulas. You can alter the formula and just use the same placement. So all of these can be found on the Aloxy website. So if you're interested in recreating these looks, you can print off your step-by-steps and then just alter the formula with whatever color your client wants. So for more information on Aloxy products, such as on Diamo, Tones, or more information on their styling products, contact your account executive, and then for future webinars, you would contact me. And I have not even looked at the chat box, so are there any questions? We just had one question. Um, India asked if they could get a copy of the formulas, and I responded um, that Miss Rhonda has all the PowerPoints. So I'm assuming all the formulas would be in there, correct? Yeah, so exactly what you guys saw right now is what she's gonna get. So she can, I'll send her this PowerPoint and then she can just print off those formulas and 
um, placement sheets or that portion of the PowerPoint. All right, well, thank you guys for sitting in and learning a little bit about hair color and our permanent color hairline. I know it's probably a lot of information for these aesthetic students since you have no idea what is involved in hair coloring. So, but thank you so much for spending some time with me. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Bye everyone. Bye-bye.